Him <laughs> jump yay high. Look, or oh, actually almost as high as that. I never. Apparently, I have it on very good authority. It's this much. <laughs> You didn't um, believe let me, me did show you? you. Hello, I'm over here. Look, there you go. Look, that much. That that much? Yeah. They jump downwards. Yeah. They don't jump up. Oh, good. <laughs> they jump downwards. Um, but that's your bearded dragons. How long do bearded dragons live for? Um, uh, around about eight to ten years, I suppose. Eight to ten. 12? Oh, 10 to 12, 12 sorry. Years. Um, now, our Bearded Dragons keepers are here, and she's sort of signing to me in the, <laughs> in the background there. And it's lovely having your company. Thank you very much for coming here. And we have to say thank you. We certainly do. To, it, to DK Reptiles. Absolutely. They are um, a, a little breeders uh, as well as a, a shop within Wisbeach and within Cambridgeshire, and they've been brilliant in actually bringing the reptiles here. So thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Indeed. It's lovely having them. They are the stars of the show, though. <laughs> um, it's actually a fascinating pet to keep. That does. It is quite specialised, and obviously you need to know what you're doing. But the internet is an amazing resource, isn't it? It is. So you very can much find so. out lots and lots and lots of information. And obviously, when you buy your bearded dragon, make sure you buy it from a, a reputable dealer, so that you can actually learn. To the, know what most, to do. Most breeders, obviously, they, they've already gone through all the startup. They know all the, the implications that you could come across. Yeah. So they already are able to give to you, you their life experience on of how course. to keep them. So. And that advice. Now, when you think, you know, a bearded dragon can live for 12 years, I mean, that's a, a good investment on a pet like that. It very much is, yes. Now, how often do you have to feed them, Jamie? Uh, feeding them is on a daily basis, as you would most other um, pets. Um, the good thing about these is it's the, the cost of the food is very, very low. low. Yeah. You can feed it not only on your, your scraps of salad that you've got left over, but also the, the crickets and the locust, that they are actually um, very low cost. And are they... Um are they vicious? No, they are very, very loving uh, creatures to have. Because some people do take them out, don't they? Uh, they? They have them walking around on their chest, on their shoulders, on their, on their head. Uh, they are wonderful, loving creatures. They're brilliant around children as well. Um, and they don't, they don't get startled very easily. Um, and they, they actually thrive on human affection. Oh, do they? They do, yeah, they love it. Absolutely love See, it. See, now, I would never have thought that. Well, you wouldn't do, because uh, they're... Dragons, yeah. so to speak, and they, they, they usually dictate nasty, ferocious animals. But no, these are very, very loving creatures. Now, obviously, if you've got small children, then adult supervision is required, more so probably for the bearded dragon, <laughs> that your children, you know, obviously, it, it, you know, they are very tender, gentle creatures. They are, yes. And uh, they don't want to be um, hurt in any shape or form. They're absolutely beautiful. I think it's actually very interesting to keep... Um, pets like this. It's actually something that I've, uh, to be honest, I've never even thought about, which actually probably is like you at home. And maybe you think, oh, I do, I fancy to, I fancy doing that. Well, now suddenly it's achievable. And with lovepets.co.uk, you're passionate about any pet, aren't you? We are indeed. And, and doing these shows is a brilliant way of actually showing that to our customers. That I mean, uh, it's not just for cats and dogs. It's not just not cut for cats and dogs. It's also for reptiles. It's for birds. poultry, birds. You name it, we, we try and cater for them as much as possible. OK, what, now this has two zones. I'm just going to whiz yes. around the back here so that I'm nearer, Jamie. I mean, you can see my head around the back <laughs> here. Um, there's two zones and two thermometers. Yes. You also have the mesh here. Why do you have the mesh? Is that for air? There is for, for here. You also have a, a, like an air inlet here. Right, like a ventilation. Uh, yes, and then because obviously heat naturally rises. Right. right. So what that happens is, is it naturally draws the heat, the, the cool air from outside and it naturally comes out of there through the vent at the top, okay. so it's good for air, air circulation. And it's important to keep them at a 